You know, first time out um, in uniforms in front of the crowd. Um, thought some, I saw some good, but obviously um, also saw some things that we need to improve on. Um, but, you know, it, it, it was good to, to get it on film so we can break it down, show our guys, and then, you know, operate accordingly uh, going forward. Uh, but like I said, you know, saw some good, saw some, um, some things that we need to improve on. Defensively, uh, what did you think? I know that's one thing you said yesterday you were going to focus on uh, with defense and rebounding. Mm -hmm. It seemed like you got to a slow start but picked up on both of those aspects. Um, you know, well, you know, I told our guys, you know, you know, don't let the numbers fool you, you know, a little bit. I thought um, we did give up some open shots, um, which turned into long rebounds. Um, but, you know, like I said, I thought there was times where it looked really good. Um, I thought we did a better job rebounding it or having the mentality of the game rebounding in the second half. Um, and then, you know, a better job of guarding the ball, guarding the yard. Um, I thought being in our gaps, we were a little late on some things. Um, our edge um, probably wasn't as great as I, I thought it would be. And, you know, one of the things I told our guys I was not happy with um, was uh, the cardio, you know, because I told them, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to have to win the cardio battle. What up turnovers tonight, Alan? How would you assess? Well, I, I would say my, my thing with that, we, we talk, turned the ball over way too much. I'm not so caught up in the last couple of minutes because we really haven't done anything in the sense of press offense. Um, all we did was put it in, um, but we haven't went against it. But I was happy at the 47 points that they had with two and a half minutes left. And then the turnovers at the end there, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, obviously, right now because of not having enough reps at it. Um, but, but it's still no excuse uh, for us to have that many uh, before that uh, that segment uh, toward the end. So is that something you guys will practice more leading up to? Uh, I just, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say practice more. I mean, it's, I would just say you have to practice it, you know. Um, I didn't, again, I wasn't caught up in it because we just didn't, I mean, we just haven't done it yet. You know, all we did was put it in. But even with that being said, I told our guys, because of us being a very, I was, I was unhappy with AJ with that left-hand pass. I thought, you know, for him being a senior, he should be more poised uh, in that situation. Um, and then we just obviously, we actually didn't even run our press offense correctly. So I, to me, I, I think that part is a small fix. But within the half court, uh, turning the ball over, yeah, I was unhappy with that. I know you said that you know you're going to kind of keep things vanilla mm -hmm. on offense in this game. First half, you guys shot 62 and a half percent from the field. Everything seemed like it was falling. Second half, I think went down to about 30. What was kind of the the biggest difference there? Um, you know what? Uh, we we did keep it very vanilla. Um, I thought the difference in half was well, we probably had a little bit more patience uh, in the first half. Settled for some uh, good shots. Uh, uh, got the ball moving a little bit, um, touching the paint and, and kicking out and things of that nature. I thought in the second half, you know, one of the things I, I said to our team too, that that was the second department that I was unhappy with was our shot selection. Because um, I thought there were times where, you know, we were shooting the ball, or I shouldn't say, you know, we I've explained our shooting, you know, to our guys, you know, open guys and uh, guys with that ability in our program. And I just thought we had a few guys that were just a little trigger happy um, and shot the ball a little too early just because they were wide open. And I tell God, I told those guys, look, there's going to be times where that happen. You have to be comfortable to know that that's not a good shot, you know, especially if you have not made one. If you've made, and when I say made one, a basket, a free throw or something. Um, and you know, you, you go back with that stuff and, you know, you pull out film of last year finals and you're watching uh, Andre Iguodala turn down jump shots. This was a former all-star. Like, it's okay, man. You know, just keep the ball moving and we can get something better. So, um, and even Maldo, I thought Maldo settled a little bit, you know, with some of the shots he took. Yeah, he's going to be, obviously, 
uh, even more capable of doing it, but I thought he settled on some of them uh, versus getting to the paint, making plays, or even getting to the foul line. I know it's exhibition, but Jake's performance tonight, you had to be pretty impressed with his first half performance. Outside of the turnovers, you know, I thought he did a great job uh, shooting uh, because that, well, that's what we need him to do. You know, like he would be a early clock shot guy for us. That's him understanding his role. Um, and I thought he just, he does a great job moving, moving without the basketball. And I do believe our guys understand that piece uh, when he's out there, how can we get him shots? And I thought he capitalized. And even um, to the point where they started trying to deny him the basketball. And then that's where a little teaching came into point, um, in a sense, with some of our new guys. And me asking them at halftime, did y'all actually see what they were doing to Jake? And obviously the older guys answered that question. But, you know, the newer guys are probably unsure. Uh, and when th things like that happen, now, again, a selfless act is how can I screen for him because that's what he does well. And then telling Jake how can you utilize how they're playing you and you set him some screens to free some guys open. But I was happy. I was happy with uh, what, what he did in a sense of what this team needs uh, for him to do. Um, but, again, that has to be something consistent from him. I have not heard yet. Um, all I heard was he had a headache, um, and that was Dallas telling me during the game, but he was not in the film room um, uh, after I addressed the team. How about Kenny? Is there any any update on Kenny Foster? Uh, well, I got the information probably about 30 minutes before shoot around um, in a sense of uh, concussion protocol. Um, I, he got hit, I guess, yesterday in practice. Um, <laughs> if I was to give you the film, I would tell you to find it. Um, but he's a tough kid, you know. If if it's something wrong, and I'm, I, he's a tough kid. Um, but I get it too. You know, Dallas has to do his job. Um, and from my understanding, I, I don't think it should be a problem going forward in the sense of getting ready for Idaho State. You know what? I, I've seen him enough, to be honest with you, um, um, from the summer. Or when I say see him enough, he's he's done enough things for me to feel comfortable with what he's doing that he, he's going to play for us. Um, this would have been another good test run for him, being that he was an incoming freshman. I uh, thought he did a great job in the close scrimmage. Um, you know, nine points, eight rebounds or something like that. Um, but, you know, would I have liked to see him um, go through this with jersey on, fans in the stands? I think that part, you know, is a small thing. But when you haven't been through it at this level yet, you know, sometimes it could be a big thing. What's your assessment of what you got from your banks Um Well, you know what? Um, I, I, I probably I, I didn't put Thompson in any good situations tonight because of our offense and what we were running. Um, and again, keeping it vanilla, uh, so to speak. So he wasn't he wasn't put in scenarios to where uh, he would probably be effective. Um, but I had a really good sit down with him probably about three or four days ago, just talking about his aggression, um, uh, both offensively and defensively, um, and looking for his game. To be honest with you, and I would tell him like even tonight, five attempts for him would not be good enough for us. Um, and that's not to say force shots, but I think he has to be um, a viable option when you're thinking about Maldo, Jake, uh, and Thompson. You know, he, he has to be a guy that's consistently helping us in the points department as well. Um, I thought um, I thought Tyler w was okay. You know, first time out, I thought he was okay. Um, you know, I thought he had a really good two weeks leading up to this. Um, but I thought he was just okay. Um, um, Cardio-wise, I thought he was okay. I didn't. I thought he got tired a few times because energy is probably his best uh, asset um, in going after uh, rebounds. Um, I thought Mueller was okay. Uh, ended up with eight rebounds. Um, uh, understands the game of basketball. I thought he settled for some quick shots um, within 
uh, our offense. Um, and then, you know, TJ, I just thought was okay. Yeah, I didn't think he was horrible. I didn't think he was bad. But I think TJ is another guy that has to understand how to utilize his ability within uh, our offense. But, uh, again, I didn't really give him a lot uh, offensively um, in, in a sense of our playbook. But even within that, you know, having a feel, um, there was a few times where I told him, yeah, come on, drive the basketball. You know, you're, 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 it's open just because – of what Jake was doing, now it spaces the floor even more, especially with you being a skilled four, to be able to put it on the floor and get to the basket. But um, I wouldn't say I'm just overall happy, but at the same time, again, it wasn't about necessarily uh, winning the game. It was more about trying to get guys out there so I can see some things. What's the, any reason Jay didn't get in tonight? Who? Oh, Big J? Oh. Um, I just didn't, uh, to be honest with you, gosh, he's, he's only like three days back, two days back off of his concussion. Um, and I just I, I just wasn't ready to pull the trigger yet. Um, but again, like I said, I don't plan on red shirting him. I think he is going about it the right way with how he works in practice. Um, I just thought it was... It was too quick in a sense of coming back off a concussion to try to get him back on the floor like that.